many of you who are preparing for MSc or in PhD level entrance examinations have one question in mind. After qualifying the exam, what to choose? MSc or a integrated MSc PhD? And this is the biggest question that makes you confused. So in this video, we'll try to answer this question. Now, this is a confusing topic and there is no definite answer to it. But we would analyze the pros and cons for it. So stay tuned till the end of this video. Before you are lost in thoughts of choosing between MSc and in PhD, let me do the reality check for you. Because in order to reach towards this decision, you need to climb quite a few steps. First, you have to prepare for entrance examinations, crack the entrance examination, crack the interview. And then here you would get the... Uh, decision point so it's a long journey it's not an easy road right and in this journey if you want somebody's help then an academy would be really useful for you if you are wondering that how you can give online test or exams that would help your preparation then an academy has a lot of variety of batches which would focus on iit jam or many entrance examinations so all the link and information is provided in the description you might check it out okay you can download the app from the app store you can use my code ap10 to get a 10 percent discount and start using the app to get all the benefits now back to our question msc or int phd in order to understand that we need to really analyze the pros and cons and there are lots of myths associated with it so let's try to bust the myth and try to understand the truth so the biggest pros or the important thing that is associated with the int phd course is you can spend more time on research work than your conventional textbook based learning whereas in case of like uh, the disadvantages like many times there is no exit option for MSc, with an MSc degree. That means once you are in, you have to like finish the MSc and PhD in order to get the degree. Otherwise, you, if you want to quit, you have no degree in hand. This, this is, I mean, one of the case. Okay, sometimes you don't like conventional bookish way of learning and you like to go to the lab and do experimental stuff. Then, this might be your choice. Right then, and already if you have some kind of research experience and you're feeling confident, then in PhD is for you. But you need to ask this question to yourself. Now let's say you don't know how research feels like, you don't have any lab experience, and you want to gain some lab experience. Then you need a slow transition. Then a conventional course might be beneficial for you where the transition is slow. You would also get a chance to do dissertation and you would get a slow transition towards the research world, right? From a student to a researcher, the transition would be slower in this case. Now, don't take any decision under peer pressure. And that's the biggest problem in India. People just choose some institute or the other because some of their friends would think that okay this institute is better that institute is bad or my institute is better than your something like that but this would be the biggest mistake of your life if you do so at the end of the day what really matters is your happiness without happiness it's hard to go far further in academia now many of you guys are thinking that you want to go to prestigious institutes and universities that's okay. This kind of ambition is really good, but you need to consider a few things. First of all, the lab that you are applying for, how interactive is that lab and how you can feel comfortable in this lab, whether it is best suit for you or not. Second, the interaction between you and the PI, whether it's a nice interaction or whether you are comfortable interacting with your mentor. If you are not comfortable to interact with your mentor then there might be some problem right so these factors you always need to come i mean consider at the end of the day you are the one who decides whether you would listen to your heart or would listen to your brain right so your life your choice but these small piece of advice might be helpful in your career choice 
and I have done a lot of mistakes myself and I learned from my mistakes. That's why I wanted to share this video with you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.